Hi everyone, welcome back to the third video, and in this one we'll be modeling the body of the character. So here we go. Again, start with a cube, and just start generating kind of the really simple outline of the character. I realized that in the past, I tried to add in a lot of edge loops at once, and that really makes my job really hard later on, so I'm just going to try to make it the shape as simple as possible and then make it more complicated when I after I add in the subdivision modifier. So I delete half of the object and add a mirror modifier. Make sure clipping and merging is on. So add in the subdivision modifier and now let's just try to get the general shape of the outline. Add in a few more edge loops. I'm not sure if you've seen my previous, um, my first video of the animated skater girl. Um, her body was quite simple because um, I wanted to make it like a really simple looking model. So this is kind of the first time I'm making something a bit more um, realistic looking. I think for realism, you just need more edge loops. Like more vertices means there's more details you can add in, obviously. Which is why the brush tool only works really well if you have a lot of vertices. Which is, you know, where sculpting comes in, obviously. So another thing is when you make a shape, try to, when you add in a loop, try to make sure that, as you can see here, there's, a, there's, you know, the two lines in the middle that kind of close together and that kind of pinches it, pinches the mesh and makes it sharp. So try to make all of the vertices as evenly spaced out as possible because right now you can see there's like a rectangular shape um, very square rectangular shape up there and I'm trying to basically just fix that now by sliding edges around and making it more smooth so that was my bad um, caution to future modeling cases so yeah, as you can see, I'm scaling it along all the axes and then making them as straight as possible so it looks as smooth as possible. So I'm really just going for the general shape. And once you get the general shape, you can start, you know, messing about with individual vertices and making it look more proper. And it's just easier once you have some kind of solid to work with. So thankfully this time the side view and the profile and the front view actually match up because I kind of took the picture from online. Okay, a bit more point pulling and I think I should start making the arm soon. A good uh, note is that if you want to scale vertices, like right now I want to scale it all in, if you scale on individual origins, it makes it look kind of weird, but you can always change the scaling origin to the th um, 3D cursor. You can place a 3D cursor, like for example, in the middle of the body, and then everything will scale kind of towards the center rather than, you know, towards itself. So as you can see, I deleted some faces on the side just to extrude out the vertices to create the arms. So the workflow is get the general shape, um, pull some points, make sure it looks smooth, and then start sculpting it, just to add in the finer details. So for the chest, for the breast area, um, again, extrude, sort of deleted the faces and then started extruding in. So for this one, you need to kind of control E and cr make the edge loop circular. So otherwise it'll look really weird. And then extrude out a little bit more and right now we need to fill in the faces and to do that you do Control F and then do grid fill. 
I think the first time it didn't work because I didn't have enough vertices to make quadrilateral. So um, automatically Blender just said no. So now it's just about fixing things. So now I'm using the sculpting brush to kind of just smoothen, smoothen everything out. Again, you can change the display. Um, I quite like this kind of skin color display. It looks really realistic already, color-wise. So I kind of just added the same picture next to it, and now I'm starting to sculpt kind of the muscles. Just, ha just to have a reference in the background. And I'm mainly using, you know, crease, um, draw, smoothen, flatten, all those things. I think a good thing if you first start sculpting now is to just create a blob, a circular blob, make a subdivision, make sure there's a lot of vertices, and just play around and see what all the brushes do, which is pretty much what I did. So I'm trying to create that hip bone shape, and as I just kept, you know, cr drawing on, to making sure it looks nice, and then it's going, oh, it's not perfect, let's retry. So I'll skip some of the extra um, sculpting stuff. I'll delete some footage. Make the belly button, you literally just extrude a bunch of faces in and then pull it in. So now I want to make the collarbone, and again, I think a really good tip is that a lot of times if you want to, you know, use sculpting brush, you can just sculpt around the area so that some vertices are pulled up so that you know like those vertices will now be the collarbone. And then you can go back into edit mode and then just drag the vertices around to make it look better. So it's kind of um, a combination of sculpting and just vertex dragging. And there we go. Here's the final version of the body. And thank you for watching, so if you come back next time we'll be doing the hand and the foot.